They're going to afflict you. They're going to give you a sickness. Now, we are looking at uh, this cardinal topic called demons. And uh, it's going to be a series. A series of teachings. Amen. So I'll need your concentration, your writing, because whatever I'll be mentioning here, some of them, they'll be beyond your mind. It'll take you to understand what the prophet will be speaking by revelation. Praise God. Now, I want us to go to Genesis. Genesis. Genesis chapter 6. Genesis chapter 6. Genesis chapter 6. If you are there, say amen. I want one pastor to read for me with a loud voice. Can we read together? And it came to pass when men Ca began to Can we read together? Huh? One, two, three, go. Hallelujah. Now, remember, I'll be mentioning a lot of scriptures and I don't want any form of disturbance. The information that you are going to get here, you will not find it anywhere. There are prophets that will just inform you. But there are prophets who will bring the reality of heaven. You'll be able to see in the realms of the spirit what happens in the realms of the spirit and how to operate in the realms of the spirit. Now, the word demon in Greek it comes from a term or a terminology called daimonio. 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 And the word daimonio, it means the fallen one. The fallen one. The fallen one. Or oh, unclean spirit and clean spirit or foul spirit why they call it foul spirit is because it is a flying spirit it is a flying spirit it has the ability to fly it has the ability to bring all manner of unclean thoughts to an individual. Now the Bible says in the book of Genesis, the Bible says a time came that men began to multiply. Now I'm showing you the Genesis, the Genesis. Okay. I am showing you the Genesis. But you must understand from Genesis chapter 6, 
That is not the genesis. That is not the genesis. That is just to show us the production or when the fallen angels or the sons of Elohim, Benea, began to multiply, began to multiply. Remember that the angels in heaven, okay? Angels in heaven, there is a law in heaven that angels must not marry. Are you listening? There is a law that angels in heaven must not marry. But I, on the earthly realm, they are able to disobey because they have the will. They have the ability to disobey God and procreate and make children. It is believed theologically that angels do not produce. They do not produce. They do not produce. But I want to take you deep because this topic is going to be a little bit controversial with what you think. <laughs> what do you think? It'll be, it'll be so controversial because I'm, I'm, I'm going to deal with a lot of canker worms that have been laid in your mind, foundations that have been laid in your mind. I will deal with them with this teaching. Now you must understand that there is a parable. The Bible says, then the disciples of Jesus came to Jesus and the Bible says, they said, Master, then there was a man who married a woman and the Bible says the man died. And the Bible says after the man died, the Bible says the woman got married seven times. And the disciples asked a question, whose wife is she going to be on the day of resurrection? Huh? On the day of what? Resurrection. Jesus said, you people, you do not know scriptures. Don't you know that in heaven, on the day of resurrection, there will not be marriage? Eh? Huh? On the day of what? Resurrection, there will not be what? Marriage. Don't you know that in heaven, angels, they do not what? Marry. So on the day when we are going to be raptured, when we go in heaven, there is a principle that God has put in place for every man and for every angel that no one must marry. Even the Bible says we are going to be like angels in heaven. Huh? We are going to be what? Like angels in what? In heaven. So it is a law in heaven that angels do not marry. When we go, when we go in heaven, marriage is here on earth. Marriage is here on earth. When we go in heaven, there is nothing like a husband and the wife. Everyone will be able to, st to stand or everyone will be like an angel. He that does not marry in heaven. So in heaven, the angels, they do not marry. So the Bible says we'll be like, we'll be like angels in heaven. There is a law, remember, that angels in heaven, they do not marry. But when they come on the earthly realm, now if you read that scripture, the Bible says, then the sons of men began to multiply. Then and, and men began to multiply. And the Bible says, your daughters were born unto uh, 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 them. And the Bible said, the sons of Elohim Benea, which is the sons of God. Uh -huh. Are you listening to me here? The what? The what? The what? The sons of God. Now, you must understand here, there are two, two categories. There is a man called Lucifer. If you read the book of Isaiah chapter 28, you, you hear a lot of things about this man called Lucifer. Now, I want to tell you that Lucifer is not a bad name. Lucifer is a good name. You can name even your child. Tell Lucifer is not a bad name. It's a good name. 
You can even name your grandchild. Lucifer, Lucifer is not a bad name. Lucifer is a good name. The word Lucifer, it means the angel of light or the morning star, the morning star, the morning star. And if you discover the word, the name Lucifer and also Jesus, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are likened together. Because also Jesus is called the morning star. Are you listening to me here? Now, when Lucifer, God, you know, there are some people who have got questions. Where did sin come from? God is not the author of sin. It's not. Do you know that what is good can kill you? The same food that is you enjoy every day can kill you and give you diabetes. The Bible says, then sin was found. Huh? Then sin was found in Lucifer. This man came up with a mechanism that even the whole entire heaven, they were so shocked. He began to bring up systems that are not in heaven. He began to bring up doctrines that are not in heaven. Because it is believed that every spirit has a father. Every spirit has a father. And the Bible says this man wanted to be independent. In fact, God did not fight against Lucifer. No. He only called the archangel to fight against the team. Because what happened is that Lucifer in heaven, he had connived. He had taken a third of the angels. That's the reason the spirit of rebellion, when someone wants to live out of church, he does not live alone. He creates a cobweb system. He becomes like a, like, like, like a, a spider. The spider has networks. That's what a rebellion does. A person, when he wants to leave the church, they don't live alone. They will first create a team among the team. And bring the spirit of division. And make sure that you compromise to your God. That's the spirit of Lucifer. And let me tell you. <laughs> Satan is not a spirit. Satan is a personality. They are people, if you look at them, they are qualified to be called the Satans. They have taken over. You are not hearing this. <laughs> they are children, when you look at them, you, you, you'll be able to see this is a baby Satan. <laughs> because they have inherited some things. There are some certain men when you look at them, you'll be able to see a grown-up Satan. So Satan is a personality. Whenever you take up the personality of Satan, whenever you take up the character of Satan, you have simply overthrown him. We are not going to wait for another Satan. You have become now the successor. So we have a lot of successors of Satan. They have succeeded the Satan. So Satan is a character. Is a character. Is a character of division. Is a character of confusion. 
is the character of compromise. And the Bible says, then there was war in heaven. This man, Satan, he even had the guts to fight in the presence of, the, of God. He had the guts to fight in the presence of his creator. No regard. No respect. And the Bible says he was casted down. And when he was casted down, the nearest place, it was earth. You know, sometimes I ask myself questions. God, why did you allow the devil even to go to Jupiter? There was a lot of planets. But this man prophetically, when he was thrown, he never had direction. The nearest place that he could fall on is the earth. And the man, he landed very bad. And when he landed here on the earth, <laughs> the man became furious and cruel. He began the work of recruitment. Remember, the angels that he had to fall with, Plus also the recruitment that took place on earth. So there was a demonic recruitment. He began to recruit people here on earth. And the Bible says a time came that the sons of men began to multiply. After Satan came. Satan came, the Bible says, then the sons of God. Now these sons of God, these were fallen angels that had rebelled and God Almighty closed up the whole entire heaven. Because whenever an angel rebels against God, there is nothing like going back to heaven. They remain here on the earthly realm. And some of them, they were imprisoned in chains. Because there is nothing like salvation for the angels. When you, when you sinned against God, Jesus came and died for you. But when an angel sinned against God, there was nothing like that. Up to now, there are some angels that are in chains. God changed them. He had to change them. Now the Bible says when the sons of God saw that the daughters of men now, you must understand the number six point is that demons are able to admire. They can admire you if you are not prayerful. There's a lot of people who are so sexy. They have a big body, big mountain, Kilimanjaro. But if they are not spiritual, the devil will admire you. And when he admires you, he has an assignment. He has employment for you. We have a lot of unspiritual people in church. And those are the ones that the devil is looking for. And the Bible says, when the sons of God saw that the daughters of men, they were very beautiful. The Bible says, then they chose. And you discover that the demons, they don't use ugly people. It's least me. I've never seen an, an, an Shadiga Zuga. I've never seen somebody who is very ugly manifesting. I, I, I'm asking you this. You must answer me here. You will never. You will never. You will never see someone who is ugly manifesting. He said, no, uh, I want to kill her. No, you know, uh, she's very beautiful. Have you ever seen an ugly demon saying that this woman, she's very beautiful? No. 
Only those that are beautiful, they know that they are very beautiful. When the demon sees that these ones, they are qualified for an assignment. As a result, even for the devil, I said, even for the devil to use you, he also, he will put you on a, on, on a scale, evaluate you, whether you, you, you. He will check whether his investment, it will be returned to him. Because he does not want to invest to somebody who is already in the kingdom. That's the reason the devil or demons, they look for women who are very beautiful, fair. Even the Bible says, when these sons of God, the fallen ones, saw that the daughters of men, they were very beautiful, eh? like you. They are sons of God here, but they are fallen. I don't hear this. Even the Bible says they are sons of God, but they are what? Fallen ones. They used to be, now they are ex. Ex sons of God. <laughs> Tell me about ex sons of God. The Bible says when they saw the daughters of men, they were very fair. And the Bible said they began to admire. So you, 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 you say that no, demons, demons, they don't produce. Wait, I'll show you. A, a demon can sleep with you physically. Like, do they wake more than a man? <laughs> Impregnate you like this with seven babies. <laughs> I will show you something here. The Bible said when the sons of God saw that the daughters of men, they were very beautiful. The Bible says, then they went and selected. They admired, they needed a relationship. A relationship. But these sons of God, they were not, look, look, they were not spiritual beings. They were literally physical. That's the reason I said last, last of last week, I said, if some of you, an angel could appear, could appear physically, some of you would have been proposed. And you can't even refuse. Angels can propose you like this and accept. And you not know. The Bible says, then they proposed. The son, the, the daughters of men. And the Bible says, they began to multiply. Eh? They began to what? Uh -huh. Angels, they don't multiply. They began to multiply. They began to have babies. Via this union. This demonic union produced a certain reaction that even the earth has never seen before. Most people came up with a concept of spiritual husband and the spiritual wife. These angels they were very cruel. A lady could sleep in the night. And in the morning, she will find herself. Something has happened. Who slept with her? She did not see anything but another being. Another being came to do the physical work, physically. That's the reason when we deal with the issue of demons, the first thing that I do, it is to cover myself. Because I know after this service, they are waiting for me outside. That's the reason if you are not God in this area, don't preach about demons. They will beat your wife, beat your children, 
attack everyone because you are not yet grown up to, to open up the mysteries of the kingdom of the devil. That's the reason anyone who opens up the, mystery, the kingdom of the devil, the devil is after them. Father, I cover myself. I cover my children. Now, demons. They have the ability to do what? To choose. They have the ability to multiply. Right, number seven. They have the ability to choose. Number eight. They have the ability to multiply. They can give you a baby. A baby. Now, let's get back. Let, let's get back to this number two point. I say demons have only the what? The spirit and the what? The soul. Okay. So, the spirit, okay? The spirit of demons is possessed by Satan. Satan is the spiritual father. These demons have been possessed by a satanic system. And that's the reason they are behaving like that. Their assignment it is to work for him. They are committed, faithful. And they are very loyal. You will never see a demon Rebelling against Satan, you will never. Most rebellious people, they are in church. Demons are more royal than believers. So demons, they have all, they have the spirit, and the spirit it is possessed by Satan, who is a president. Is an overseer. Not only the spirit, but also they have the soul. Okay? They have the soul. Now, remember that when Satan possesses the spirit of a demon, that is called the control. Okay? It is called what? Control. Okay? Now, these demons, they are under 100% control of the devil. He controls them day and night. He tells them that now you must go to this country. You must go and kill this president. You must give him sickness. You must give him diabetes. He, Satan has possessed these spirits and now he has the ability to tell them anything and they will do it. He can send these demons to come in your, in your office physically like this. Physically. I remember one day, I'm in church, I'm in church. I saw three ladies. I was praying, I was praying. I saw three ladies came. And when I looked at them, I could see that they had the heads of snakes. And the Lord said, see, those are not women. Those are demons. Monitoring spirits in your church. They have got no regard whether you are anointed. They enter church. Satan can send them. That's the reason now the devil is using beautiful women. <laughs> Whenever they want to attack an anointed man of God, they will Look at his weakest point. They will access. Because demons, any time when a demon enters you, it has the ability to access how much power is inside you. They can send a demon physically to attack your business. They can assign a demon from the pit of hell to come and attack your ministry. That's the reason most ministries that are very powerful, that have authority, the devil is after them.
So these look, these demons. Remember that Satan is a what? Is a president. Huh? He's a president. These demons, they are called ministers. Okay. They are called what? Ministers. That's the reason the kingdom of the devil is arranged in, 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 is, is well structured. Well structured. There is a president. There is a vice president who is an antichrist. There is a ministering spirit. Demons. Very well organized. Come in church. This organization, Asha, you look at the Asha, my Jesus. The kingdom of Satan is well organized than the kingdom of, of God. Yet we have the power, we have the ability. Now, they can send these demons to you. Now, Satan, who is the overall boss, he has possessed the spirits. Of these personalities who were fallen angels when they came here, they married, and Satan connived with them. He said, Now I will show you how to be cruel. He began to teach them how to kill. If you read the book of Enoch, if you read the book of Enoch, it's, it's not part of the Bible, but it's part of knowledge for you just to be informed. You come to discover Enoch mentioned a lot of things. Enoch mentioned a lot of things. That's the reason the book of Enoch was removed out of the Bible because it opens up who are fallen angels. It gives you the description. Praise God. So Satan, he has already possessed the spirit of the fallen angels. Now remember that the spirit, the spirit is under 100% control. There are most of you, you are possessed. Possessed. Ask about you possessed. Ask about you possessed. Why are you looking like one? Neighbor, are you possessed? I will show you. I will show you. Wait. There are people that look they are not possessed. I will show you types of demons. That's when you will see. There is a lady that came in my church. This lady, she was very quiet. Quiet. And every time when I look at her, I saw a demon sitting in her. So one day during time for deliverance, I went, I touched her on the head. I just said, pa! And the demon jumped, go by anywhere now. I'm telling you. Yet the woman, she was very quiet. But when the demon began to manifest, ah, the woman, she could not speak English. But she became a teacher of English. Now, this are under the control of the devil so they are assigned by the devil to do anything now let's look at the soul now in the soul that's where there is the mind okay the mind praise God feeling or oh, emotions emotions demons can feel they can feel fire that's the reason you see when I'm coming towards a person who has a demon they can't even look at me. They're like, ah, I sense fire. I sense fire. They can feel. And if you are not fireized, they don't feel anything. They become your friends. Some of you are ice block. Ice block people are friends of demons. That's the reason a demon possessed person will come in your office, do whatever I can do, and leave. But if me enter my office, you will find anointing oil. You will find the fire is wet because my spirit is already on fire. So they have the mind. They can think. 
In fact, the demons are more intelligent than men. Right this point. Demons are more intelligent than human beings. More intelligent. Some people, they are very dull. But demons, very intelligent. They can think. They can reason. They can sit down and come up with a plan. He said, now we are going to kill this man. What are we going to use? But you, you can't even plan for your own life. Demons, they have the, before they assassinate you, they begin to plan. How are we going to attack him? Seeing that this man is a man of fire, is a man of authority. How are we going to enter him? They say, oh, what we are going to do? We are going to organize accusation. We will organize accusation. And what we are going to do, we are going to put him on the front picture. They are able to plan very well. And that's the reason when the Lord was speaking to me three, three, three weeks ago, the Lord said to me, he said, look, son, you are a very calm prophet. But when you are dealing with demons, you don't need to be calm. You need to be a political prophet. Political. <laughs> because these demons, they have the mind, they work with internet. They can go, oh, 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 oh. they can go, they can go, they can enter your boss. And your boss can hire some certain people just to rule your name. So also what I have done, I have prepared myself. If a demon goes on the internet to write about me, also I am well prepared. If you are not spiritual, that's the reason, that's the reason, that's the reason. The enemy now is looking for vibrant men of God. You, you, the devil, you, you, the devil cannot follow you if you have got nothing to offer. There are some of you, the devil is not following you. It's a sign. It is a sign that you have got nothing to offer. So he, he can't follow you. It is a waste of resources. They, they, they plan very well. Which means that demons, they have got only the spirit and the soul. Remember I said that these are fallen angels that don't have the, what, the body, but look for what? For the body, which means they are more in the spirit, okay, than in the natural. It is very foolishness to see a woman who is very beautiful but not spiritual. It is unfair to see to see to see women, to see men who dress very nice, but they are not spiritual. Demons are more spiritual than you. They don't have the body. They operate more in the spirit. More in the spirit. Now, let's look at human. There is the spirit. There is the soul. There is the body. Now, remember that demons, they have the spirit. They have the soul. A human being has a what? The spirit, soul, and what? Now, what are they, what are, what are they looking for? Huh? That's the reason every day they are looking for you. You, you have, you have what belongs to them. Demons will continue looking for you. They are looking for your body. This one, they don't have a body. So for them to 
work very well, they need to have a body. That's the reason they are looking for your body every day. Even in the book of Jude, the Bible says, then Satan, he was looking for the body of Moses. There was a contest over the body of Moses because the man was so much anointed. It was a spiritual fight. So Satan, Satan was arguing. He said, this is my body. This is my body. This is my body. Demons are looking for your body. They are not looking for your hair. They are not looking for your money. If they can, if they can enter your body, you are gone. That's the reason the Bible said, present your bodies. Present your body as a what? As a living. Your body is living. It is a living being. That's the reason demons, they operate in the spiritual. For them to come on the earthly realm, they need a living being. They don't need a dead person. No. They need a living being. Someone who can carry them into parliament. They are fat demons that are putting on suits. Fat demons. Slim demons. Dwarf demons. <laughs> Black demons. White demons. They are looking for a living body. Not a dead body. And that's the reason. Look, 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 look. That's the reason your body is under attack every day. Because they, 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 these demons, they, they have got only the spirit and the soul. So how are they going to work on the earthly realm? How, are, how will the work of demons be seen? Without the body. They need now to come up with a plan of possessing people. Possessing people. Possessing them. Possessing their spirit. Their soul and their body. It is complete. So possession is 100% control of the devil. There are men in the church who are possessed. Whenever they sit, whenever they sit on the chair, they are busy having a register. They are, they, they are busy calculating who is a new sister. Who is a new sister? They are on the mission to conquer demons in suits. Demons in suits. You are possessed. Even the Bible says Saul was possessed. The king was possessed. How can you sit? How, how, how can you come in a church where there's fire and I have a register of conquering women? If it is not possession, then who? You are possessed. And every time when a person is possessed, there is need for deliverance. <laughs> they are looking for your body. That's the reason they are, they are able to send you. They are able to send you just to be a proposing machine in the church. Proposing machine. Tal they will give you talent and the skill to the point that you, any lady will not refuse you. And at the end of it, their target it is to destroy you. They don't leave you just like that. Whenever they possess the body, they are duty and their work or assignment it is to destroy you completely
Remember that a human being needs Jesus Christ or salvation. Okay? Salvation. Your soul needs transformation. Transformation. Your body needs restoration. It needs restoration. Whenever a demon enters you, okay, let, can, it, can I take it deeper? Huh? Okay, let me show you something here. Can you turn the boat? Turn it. I will show you where the devil entered you from. And today we'll close the door. Or oh, you are not saying amen because you know where he entered from. I know why you are not saying amen. I know. Eh, this message is entering you. Eh, today no blessing. No receive blessing. You have the spirit, soul, and body. Okay. Your spirit needs salvation. Your soul needs transformation. Your body needs restoration. Now the Bible says, present your bodies as a living sacrifice. Now demons, they don't have a what? The body. They have got the spirit and the soul. They are looking for your what? For your body. So, their concentration, when they enter you, Remember, it is like a force entering another territory. Whenever these demons enter you, the first thing they do, it is to possess your spirit, your soul, and your body. And that process is called the possession. Now you belong to the devil. When your spirit, your soul, your body has been possessed by the devil, now you belong to the devil. But his manifestation happens much on the body level. Now, your body your body has five senses. Eh? It has five senses. Five senses. And your body has five doors. Your body has five doors. Five. What I'm about to do, this is original deliverance. We want to find out where he entered from. If it is not you who allowed him, we will see. Number one. Mouth. Your mouth. Is a door. Your mouth is a door. Is an entrance. <laughs> you don't know. Your mouth. What do you use your mouth for? And what did you speak? What did you eat? Who gave you that food? Do you know when they want to possess somebody satanically, they will give them food to eat. The moment the person eats the food, is possessed. How come? You just ate, you just ate meat. And in the night, you see a strange man coming to you and say, bring back my meat. This 
strange man will tell you, now you belong to me. Because you have eaten my meat. And how can you vomit because you ate it physically? Spiritually, you don't. You don't vomit spiritually. It is part and parcel. So your mouth is a door. Your ears. Ears, right. Ears. Ears, what you hear. Some of you hear insult. Insult. Tupac. Tupac. And some of them say, no, I don't love Tupac. Me, I love three pack. Three. Insult. Songs of insult. Behind every song, there is a demon. When you hear, it possesses your spirit, your soul, and your body. That's the reason most of you, when you hear some certain songs, some love songs, you begin to behave like a snake. You don't know. The more you hear those songs that are demonic, hey, na na, your body will also begin to react. It's a spirit. That's the reason some of you, the songs that you hear in your, in your music, in your, in, your, in, your, in your car, they're very strange. Very strange. How can you be hearing this, this wild, 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 wild song? And he said, no, there's, there's no problem with songs. Whatever you hear has the ability to bring faith or to remove faith out of you. Your ears, what did you hear? Your mouth, what did you eat? There are some of you ladies, you ate some food for people. You promised that man that you'll marry him. And he bought you a phone. And you ate his sausage and chicken. And after you left him, why can't you take back? Why can't you take back the phone? Even the phone you are using, it belongs to him. He gave it to you. <laughs> he gave it to me. Yet, you are not even to, you are not with him. Your mouth can cause you to be possessed. Your ears can be caused. It is an entrance of demons. Number three. Your eyes. What you watch. There are some demons that have entered the phones of people. And these demons, they are called demons of addiction. And most of these demons, they are found in America. And in South Africa. That's the reason... Okay, if you bring a Nigerian, if I begin to pray for a Nigerian and you check a Nigerian demon, and a South African demon, manifestations are too different. South Africa, hey, 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 hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> no, uh, uh, Manifestation is different. Bring a Nigerian. Pa, hey, who are you? I am a strong man. I am an ashen demon from his great and grandfather. Who are you? Here. Manifestation differs. And that's the reason the 
deliverance in Nigeria is more serious than in South Africa. We need deliverance, real deliverance in the church. Deliverance is needed in the church. You find in Nigeria, wait, I'll show you. In, in Nigeria, demons that are found there is Lucifer. Lucifer will come in your church. You try to deliver and say, who are you? I'm Lucifer. Even you, even you as a pastor, when you are casting the demon, you must be very empowered. Because if you are not the demon who cast you. But here in South Africa, who are you? I'm demon of poverty. <laughs> who are you? I am demon of debts. Debts. Who are you? I'm spirit of divorce. Who are you? Ah, I'm the one who give a baby. Who are you? Ah, I'm the spirit of HIV. HIV. Nigeria, you will not find that. So each and every place, there is a territorial demon that controls the place and the manifestation differs according to the demon that is using people. Your eyes, what do you see? Every time when you are alone, what do you see? There's a certain man who came to me. I looked at him. I saw a demon that entered him because he was watching pornography. And I told him, I said, you, there is a demon that entered you when you are watching pornography. And the man was like, ah, really? Are you true? I felt like beating him. Deliverance. That's the reason. When you see me, I'm doing the, I, I want to show you this. When you see me, I'm doing deliverance. I am more forceful than when I'm teaching. Because there are some demons that I must beat. I must beat them. That's it. That's the reason. You can't do deliverance if you are a very calm man. You can't. Make it a demon. You are even crying. You are a demon. You are not going. You are a demon. You are a demon. You, when? When? Come out. When you are doing deliverance, there is high level of authority. That's the reason you will see me when I come in the when I just look, if there is something inside you. My eyes, the same way the demon entered you by the eyes, also my eyes can be a point of deliverance. What entered you? What did you see? Number four, your mind. Your mind is a door. What do you think when you are alone? What do you think? What do you think? The last one is your private part. The last one is your private part. That's the reason you must guide your loins. To the highest level where the devil can enter you. Highest level. Son! The demon that enters through the point of procreation are dangerous. Because those demons, they are called the Sotai demons. They are demons of covenant. Covenant, covenanted demons. 
And those demons, they wake 100% with blood. They are blood drinkers. They drink blood. Who are you connected to? And what kind of a demon is in the blood? What kind of a demon? Now, let's put it, now your body is possessed. The devil has entered using those five doors. You can select which one eh? he used. You know. You know better. You know better. Yeah, I, I even said that today is deliverance, pure deliverance. You, 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 you know, you, you know, person, you are, you, you are the engineer of your life. Here, yeah, there's no need of prophecy here. You will prophesy and investigate where he entered you from. Even when you are seated there, you are able to remember where it happened from, whether in the mango tree. You're able to remember. Uh -uh. Do, look, 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 look. Do you know that demons are able to buy your birthright? You were supposed to be a president and now they have meandered your destiny. In order for you to be a doctor, now you are a driver. You are driving minibuses. Contradiction of destiny. Okay, now, I want you to take five minutes or five seconds of just to think where he entered you from. And I want you to mark where he entered you from because that is the point where we are going to break. Now, where did he enter you from? Yes, the Bible says if any man be in Christ Jesus is a new creation, the old has gone and the new has come. But what gets born again is not the body, it is your spirit. Your body, it is still the same. But now, let's think. Where did he enter you from? How come that you are a child destiny? How come that you were born very bright, but as you are growing up, you became a dull woman? How come there was an error somewhere? The time when you were growing up, you used to be a healthy child. And now, you are sick. Where did he enter you from? The Bible says, before entering a strong man's house, the first thing we are going to do is to bind him. So, I want you to bind the devil where he entered you from using your mind. Where, 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 where? Which door did he use? Have you found it? Have you found it? Huh? Have you found it? Huh? Have you found it? Types of demons. 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 That's a reason it it makes me to be very annoyed spiritually to see people who are very beautiful yet possessed. To see people when a man has been sent for them and they are playing with such kind of a man. To see that you have a problem, a financial problem, yet a man sent by God to remove that demon of poverty, you still play around with him. Number one demon. Demon of addiction. This demon is called the Samienza. 
Sabienza 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 is a demon of addiction He teaches you how to be addicted To beer Pornography Alcohol TV Isidingo Telemundo He will make sure that you are addicted to television and a little time of prayer. Have you discovered that a person can stay two hours on the TV but to pray? He can't even spend the five minutes. Demons of addiction. Demons of addiction. You will spend time on your phone, on WhatsApp. Get, 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 get. Law, 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 law. On WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Let me put it like this WhatsApp is a demon of addiction. I am not saying that you must not use it. You must use it, but it must not have power over you. You know, there are some certain people, they are, couples are addicted to WhatsApp. They will go in their chamber, in, the, in their bedroom. The man will be sleeping on the same bed. The wife on WhatsApp, the husband on WhatsApp. One hour. Talking to the people that don't care about you. They even don't know, they even don't know what to go through. They don't know, they don't know even where you stay. They'll cause you to be very busy for nothing. Busy body. One hour you're on WhatsApp. Like a cranker. Two hours. They'll make that's a demons of WhatsApp. They'll make your husband to see you like you are a baboon. Yet you are with them. Because they will make sure that they will, they will give you work. You are going to be very busy. And as you are busy, you can't speak to your husband. Your husband will now begin to look for mosquito net. Mosquito net. And when he goes awake, when he goes away, he finds fine. You know, the devil has got fine ladies. When he goes home, when he goes home, my Jesus, his mama, mama move for. The lady, she's always on WhatsApp, not even to greet, not even to say, honey, how are you? How, how, how? How was it at work? What did you go through? Is there any challenge that you went through? I was praying for you. She will always be on WhatsApp. Demons of addiction. They have destroyed marriages. There is a high level of divorce. Women are married to WhatsApp. Men are married to WhatsApp. You are in a relationship. You are in a relationship just two days. Just two days, you are busy on WhatsApp. A man is talking to you. The man who has got the heart to marry you, you are busy. K -k 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 -k. Talking to a foolish man. Foolish man with a big head like a pumpkin. when we bring a man here, he's not even pleasing. You look at his face, he's, look, he's, he's looking like a spirit. <laughs> Busy bodies. In church, in church, demons of addiction. As I'm talking to you right now, there are others, the demon is manifesting. Now, that's when now that demon, that demon is now giving you the mind. Now, the time, the hour has come for you now to speak to your boyfriend. All this time.
then he was not speaking to you. Now you have entered church. That's when he has remembered about you. Devil in human form. Demons of addiction. They will cause a woman to be addicted on TV. To be addicted to eat ice. Ice. You know there are women who are addicted also to, 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 to powder. Is it makeup? Fashion. Hey! When you put a lady here, when she's natural, and when this is spiritual, Is it really you? Because you know, you know, you know. Look, look. The first thing that I do, look, look, look. Looking beautiful, it is not a sin. Applying makeup is not a sin. There is no scripture in the Bible that says when you apply makeup, you are going to hell. In fact, I advise you to apply to look beautiful. And I encourage you. But when it is overdose. <laughs> overdose. You will see ladies, they are addicted to powder. You are preaching, she's busy on the mirror. She's busy pumping herself, aglifying herself. Why? 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 All this time, you could not apply powder at home. Now time where God wants to bless you. God wants to speak to you. Now you go in the, in the bathroom. Who took you there? Who took you there? Who took you there? <sighs> Overdose. I remember one day I'm preaching, I'm preaching a powerful message, a powerful message, and I see a lady. She she, she sits like bring the, the, the chair. Where na? Kunja anywhere? You could not see that. You could not see that there is a problem. But during time where God wants to speak to you, that's when now you see a problem with your makeup. Addiction. Addiction. There are ladies, they are addicted to Brazilian hair. You will see them. It's like there. My God. If you dare carry their handbag, it's like there's some blocks. Maybe pan brick. It's five kgs or ten kgs. There is everything that they use for saloon. They bring saloon to church. Why in the service? The service is going. God wants to bless them. You will see. You will see. They are removing a comb. A comb. That's when they begin to to. Brazilian hair. In fact, the Brazilian hair you're putting on, it is for a dead Chinese man. Borrow the hair. In fact, it's not even yours. For a dead, a, a dead, a dead, a dead woman from Mexico. I personally see these things every day. Every day of my life, I see them. And the Lord, I ask the Lord, why is it that every time when the word of God is coming, people, they are not all that concentrating. Why? They become busybodies. The Lord says there is a demon of addiction that you must deal with. 
Addiction. Addiction. To be beautiful is not a problem. In fact, God wants you to be beautiful. He wants you to be beautiful. But if your beauty takes the place of God, it is demonic. It's demonic. During time for service, you will see ladies. As a reason, your neck is giving you a problem. <laughs> addiction. There are some ladies they can't come to church when they have not uh, 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 put on these artificial nails. Who be with you? Will you die when you don't have... Uh, <laughs> Allow me today, I will speak. I will speak. Have you ever seen a lady dying because she has got no nails? In fact, the nails that you have, they are more good, perfect. But you want to add up. Adding what God did not give you is a sin. small. I am going for artificial. And they'll go and they put mountain Kilimanjaro. <laughs> Are you listening? Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Close your eyes. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. 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 In Jesus' name. It is done. Ha! Artificial. How? How? The Lord, when he was creating, he created you, he created you as a slender woman. Why are you putting what you don't have? Deception. There are some ladies, they don't appreciate themselves. Demon of addiction. There are some places in America now, people, ladies are putting hips, artificial hips. When, when, whenever she's working, ka, ka, you <laughs> You think it's original, fake! Satan! It's here even in South Africa. People, they are doing now enlargement, breast enlargement. Who told you that you will not enter heaven when you don't have breast? Who told you? Who told you that you will not enter heaven when you don't have Brazilian hair? Whatever takes up the place of God is demonic. That's the reason God is a jealous God. He's a jealous God. Jealous God. Jealous God. Addiction is in so many ways. There are some certain men, they are addicted to cigarettes. A man can, can smoke, can smoke 200 pieces of cigarette. It's like he's a manufacturer. Whenever he moves like this, it's like a factory is entering your house. He's, even if he applies perfume like this, the, the, the perfume is swallowed by the odor. I see people, look, I see people being addicted to cigarette. Cigarette. Do you know 
know that I'm addicted to church. Do you know? That's the reason most of the time you will find me in church. That's the reason some of you are addicted. You are addicted to bars. You prefer going to bars than to church. It's a demon. That's the reason you can stay at your house the whole week, the whole month, not coming to church. It's a demon of addiction. It has addicted your spirit to remain on one place. That's the reason you don't want to come to church. Because you are not addicted to church. You think coming to church, it is, it, it, it is doing a favor for a pastor. Someone came to me and said, Papa, you know when I come to church, I'm doing a favor for you. I said, over my dead body. You are doing a favor for me? You are not addicted to church. It's a demon. Have you discovered that when it is work time, you report 7 o'clock when it is church. You come, you come, you take in your, your stomach and your head. Time for church is 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock, you are coming 13, you are coming 1 o'clock. Like it's a, it's a church for your uncle. And, you, and when you come in church, you give problem to ushers. You want the usher to give you a front chair. Author of confusion. Addiction. Let's look at another demon. Let me speak today. Allow me. Because when I go to sleep, yeah, I don't know what will happen. Whew. Demon of stinginess. Stinge. There are men who are too stingy. They can't even give their wife like it two rand. When they want to give their wife two rand, they'll go to the toilet. One day your wallet it will perform a miracle there. Stinginess is a spirit. Whatever you cannot give to God, there is a spirit behind it. That's the reason. People, you will see people, they will have money in the pocket. They will have money in the pocket. 2,000 rands. And you say, offering time. He will take his hand. It's like the hand is a prophet of the pocket. And the man, the man has got skill. The demon will give the hand the skill. You'll be able to calculate and prophesy accurate. How much, how much is in the pocket? They'll be like, he can hear. Five rand. Ten rand. Mm, this one is very big. And then he will go to ten rand. When he removes accurate every time you give God the less and you remain with the best you are a stingy man write this point whenever you give God the worst and you remain with the best you are a stingy man there is a demon behind it it is a demon of stinginess that will allow you to give God the worst and remain with the best. That's the reason God refused. He said, uh, 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 Ken, I don't eat vegetables. God said, Ken, I don't eat vegetables. In my whole entire life, I've never eaten vegetables. I eat meat. God refused vegetables. He said, I want meat. Nama. Nyama. Give me. God had to reject vegetables. Because God is expensive. Even David said, I cannot give what, what does not value my God. Whatever you give, 
whatever you give that does not value or that does not suit the size of God, the spirit of stinginess is behind it. That's the reason most of you cannot prosper because the spirit of stinginess is all over you. You can't give God. Number three. Number three. Let's be very fast. Number three. Number three. Number three. Tormenting demons. Tormenting demons. These, they torment you. They give you nightmares. You want to sleep, you see your uncle coming with a machet. Tormenting demons. You see, you see your uncle coming to abuse you. Sexually, tormenting demons. Sometimes, these demons, they can take up a face. A face of somebody who is so familiar to you. Very familiar to you. And you may think like, you know, this is the person behind it. No. They can take up the face of anyone. If you are not spiritual, especially if you are not spiritual, they can be using your face. Telling you. That's the reason some of you, if you are not careful, your uncles, they'll be seeing you. <laughs> In the night, you are chasing them with a machete. <laughs> and then when they wake up, they say, you are a witch. Not that you are a witch, but your spirit is not on fire. So they can carry you at any time. They can use your face. So tormenting spirit, they can give you sickness. Rash. Rash. Abnormal rash. Eye problem. Lack of appetite. Lack of appetite. Insomnia. Insomnia. Not sleeping. Whenever you want to sleep, you are afraid of dying. Having thoughts of death whenever you want to sleep. If I go to sleep, oh, I will die. I'll, and then your heart begins to be. <laughs> you are afraid to sleep. They will give you fear. Fear. Abnormal fear. Can you remove that child there? Abnormal fear. Abnormal fear. Abnormal fear. You even fear to sleep alone. You know, there are some people, they don't sleep alone. There are some people, even if... There are people, if we just switch off the light, just a little bit, they will stand like a monument. They are afraid. Like some, like me, look, my spirit, I have a spirit that you don't dare with. My spirit, you don't dare with it. It's just a spirit that does not get afraid. I'm one person, if there's something outside, I'll tell you, let's go. I want to see. I don't get afraid. I don't get afraid. Yeah. There's somebody here that I'll mention it when I'm home. The spirit of fear. Fear. Where in the night when you just want to sleep. Hey! My God! He's coming! He's coming! I can see it! Fear! They are coming to take me. Hey, I see them now. I see them. They have come with the ambulance. Hey, there's my grandfather. I see. Fear. They torment you. You don't sleep in the night. You have a headache. The women who, who don't sleep. Men who don't sleep. Whenever, whenever you want just to sleep, you see different, different kind of demons. Those are called what? Tormenting what? Tormenting demons. Lack of appetite. They'll give you rash in the head. Rash. Some ladies, they can finish your hair. Finish your hair. You find in the night, in the night, your hair. It's like someone comes to, he takes you to the barber shop. A certain lady came here. She was putting on Brazilian hair. So while I gave her fire, I did not know what happened. I said fire. I did not know that I touched Brazilian hair. Brazilian hair came out and she remained the way she came to the earth.
I, dis <laughs> I discovered all oh, this side, the hair, finish. And as I questioned my daughter, what is happening? She began to narrate the story. Say, Papa, one day I woke up, I found that my hair was cut off. I said, this is demonic, tormenting spirit. They'll make a lady the hair not to grow. You are a woman. You are a woman. Your hair, the hair of a woman is, is the glory. Praise God. So they'll torment you. They'll give you rash, body pains, body pains, arthritis, blindness, your mouth becoming dry. Your mouth becoming dry. Deafness. Back problem. Back problem. You just have abnormal back problem when you just stand. When you just stand, you just begin to feel your back burning, 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 burning. The base of every woman, it is the backbone. So they will torment you. Give you migraine. Migraine. Are you listening? To men, low sperm count. Low sperm count. Low sperm count. To others, they are weak. Vegetable. They are, they, are, they are there to torment. They can torment a couple. I've seen women, women who come to complain and say, Papa, please do something. <laughs> do something. I saw a certain man, I think I was with you in Livingston. This man came to me, like, Papa, please. You know, I have a problem. I said, my son, what problem? He said, Papa, the battery is flat. When I start, the battery is flat. So, he said, Papa, you know what? Me, I have a problem. You know what, Papa? You must pray for me. My manhood disappeared. I said, ah, wh what do you mean? Because it was the first time. So I told him, I said, ah, I need to see. I want to, I want to see. Ha! I went to the corner. I said, Kuja Baro Sigadus. It was, <laughs> it was my first time to see such kind of a person being tormented. His man who disappeared. So I said, okay, we are going to pray. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. Completely, I'm telling you. Because I wanted to believe. I wanted to know whether this, this is the truth. I wanted to cry like this. And we began praying. Praying. Ha! After... 50 minutes of prayer. While I was praying, I, I'm closing my eyes. I'm praying. Oh, I just heard the man jumping. Hey, Papa, I have seen it. It has come. He checked. It appeared. Tormenting demons. They are, look, there are women who are, look, there are women that are suffering in marriage. There are men that are suffering in marriage because the devil does not want you to enjoy the, 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 the gift of marriage. The gift of marriage. The gift of marriage. That's the reason a, a lot of men, they are, they are so much attacked. They are so much attacked. It's a demon. It's a tormenting demon. To some other ladies, to some other ladies, just from nowhere, just from nowhere, loss of affection. You just begin to look at your husband like he's a lion. You look at him like... Look at you. Look at you. Mm. You irritate me. You irritate me. Look at you. Mm. There are some ladies who are like, oh, look, look. Mm. Look at your smell. Mm. Yes, these demons will cause your wife just to hate you. I know what I'm talking about. I 
I've been minister for 25 years and I, I'm a pure minister of deliverance. And the, the reason I'm opening up to you is because I know there are people that are going through these things. You, your wife, you just hate you. Be like, ah, you are smelling very bad. You smell like fish. You check yourself. How did perfume sound like fish? It's a demon. That's a reason. You see, when a woman she's pregnant, she's pregnant, most of the husbands they begin to hate the woman. Because that time demons take over a woman if she's not prayerful and careful. They take over a woman. The father, the woman, she will just begin to be very, very strange. And the man will be irritated. Because of that, he will go outside. It's a demon. It's a demon. Number four. Is it number four? No, number four. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Number four. Number four. Number four, blood demons. Blood demons. These are called killers, assassins. Assassins. These they can they can they can kill your husband in a car accident. They can put poison for you. I was with you when they put for me poison, eh? In in, in Chilabombwe. They put for me poison. They put for me poison. I'm ministering like this. A woman comes with a drink. Put poison for me. And I took it. Pop. I drank. Up to now I'm still surviving fat. The Bible says believers shall drink deadly things. And it will make them fatter. But what happened is when I took this poison... For 15 minutes, I became blind. Eh? Completely blind. Blind. And outside, I was having people. They were waiting for me. I just told him, I said, you know what? I can't see. Completely. I told him, I said, I can't see. I tried to, to look. Nothing. And people, they were waiting. And I told him, I said, okay, allow them to come in. I was prophesying. What was I doing? I was prophesying while my eyes are blind. I look at the lady. I said, you, your name is so. This, this. While my eyes are blind. And the one who did that, the one who did that, she was surprised. She was like, mm. I'm thinking that this guy will die. But he, he continues prophesying. It is not this body. It is a spirit. And after the woman put for me poison, I said, you, your days are numbered. I said, your days are numbered. You don't dare with an anointed prophet. My life belongs to the Lord. I was raised for the people. And I said, the moment I leave this land, you shall go back to your ancestors. She died. She died. She joined the ancestors. They are clapping hands for her. They will come down. Are you, are you seeing that? Tormenting demon. Put for me poison. If I was not a spiritual man, by this time, I would have had maybe kidney failure or a lung problem or my heart would have been... Do you know that people put for you poison? Your life uh, 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 span is reduced. You don't know. That's the reason most preachers, you must be very careful. Don't just drink, drink. I told one of my daughters, he was here yesterday. He said, no, Papa. I said, never. I said, you. It's only you maybe to prepare for me. Some others, hey, I don't want to die. I'm too young. I've got a lot of sons. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, assassin demons, they can assassinate you. Putting poison for you. 
preparing an accident for you. Okay? They can come physically like this, kill you while you are sleeping. They are blood drinkers. And that's the reason any road you use, it is an altar. Can I ask you a question? Do you know how many people have died on the road that you use? Huh? And you just like, Chee. you are dead. It's an altar. Every time you use the altars of Satan, what protects you? God Almighty. That's a reason you must be spiritual. The Bible says, now, putting on the full armor of God that you may withstand all the fiery dust of the devil. Because days are wicked. They are wicked. They are wicked. They are wicked. The Bible says, for the weapon of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty. Through God, through the pulling down of strongholds. like a soldier. Prepare yourself. Can I ask you a question? One day I'm praying. I'm praying. I see a demon appears through the wall. Physically. And this demon speaks to me. He says, you, you have entered our territory. I was in India. The demon said, you have entered our territory. We have come. We are the one who controls India. We have come to kill you physically. I was not sleeping. And the demon disappeared through the wall. Do you think I went to sleep? <laughs> you. You, do you think I went to sleep? Aya kida digaduza riku shabakatosh. Ha! You, I think some of you just see it spiritually. But me, it was physical. Most of the time, me, I see things physically. And thank God that God has given a very sharp eye. Very sharp eye. As I'm looking at you, I'm able to know. I'm able to know. Even if I look at this side, I've, I've got other eyes behind me. I can be looking at this side and also prophesy to you. Because it is not my eyes that causes me to prophesy. I have got other eyes and other senses. Be spiritual. Put your life in order. Put your life in order. Put your life in order. Days are wicked. The devil cannot be defeated if you belong in his kingdom. If you continue, if you continue, if your life, if your life is not all that in position with God, the devil will attack you. Your business will continue to be in problem. There are many people who are tormented by demons. Financial demons. Right, financial demons. Financial demons. Those demons, they are thieves. Financial demons, those are thieves. They are bank thieves. They are able to enter the bank. Steal money physically. In my country, there is a demon called Kambuma. Okay, 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 okay. In my country, there is, there is a spirit called Kambuma. Now, look, look. That demon... <laughs> that demon, it's sent by somebody. So if they send that demon to your house, if they assign the demon, he said... You must know where he puts the money. 
the demon will go exactly, collect the money physically. You will see your money going through the wall in your own eyes. And your money will disappear. I said, me, in my house, you enter. You will remain there. There is fire. You can't come. Is it your money? Were you there when you, I was working? These, they are able to enter your house, your pocket. That's the reason most of you, you put money, you put money in your pocket. After a few minutes, you find that your money has disappeared. Just after a few minutes, you put money on the cupboard. You go there, you find money disappeared. No one entered your house. There was another man. Money disappearing from your account. Money disappearing from your pocket. Money disappearing. You begin to suspect your children. There is a spirit. These are able. You can put money. You can put money in the, in, in the Bible. They are able to open the Bible. They are thieves. That's the reason most of you, you are in financial problems because there is a demon. There is a financial demon that always attacks your finance. That's the reason most of you, the reason why I'm trying to mention different kind of demons is for you to know what kind of a demon you are facing. That's the reason every time you have money, money disappears. You make a budget and say, I'm going to do this. When money comes, you don't know how you spend it. There is a financial demon. The last demon. The last demon. The last demon. Generational demons. Generational demons. We call them inherited demons. These were passed on. To you, from your grandfather, to you, to your children, all of them. You see, your uncle died with sickle cell. Your father died with uh, 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 asthma. You have asthma. Your children have asthma. Everyone has cancer. That demon is a generational demon. It is in your family. That's the reason you see in your family there is no marriage. No one is married. No one is married. Every time they want to get married, there is a demon. That says, in our family, we don't get married. Every time you want to, to go abroad, a demon will stand, attack your documents. They will check your passport. They will be like, no, no, no. You know your picture has a problem. Generational demons. There are people they have never crossed. They have never been outside South Africa. They have never. There are demons that have just said, you, you will die here. We don't go outside. Generational demons. There are women here. The devil said there is a generational demon that said you will never have a child. That's the reason you continue trying. You continue trying. You continue trying. Nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. There are most of you. You work hard. There is a generational demon of poverty. It was passed on to you. Your father was poor. You are poor. Your uncle poor. Your father poor. Your father died in one room. You, you are dying in half room. Generational demons. Generational demon. Look at yourself where you are and look at where your father ended his life from. You will discover there is no difference. There is no difference. Make up a decision. That's the reason whenever you hear a prophet talking about deliverance, it is right up because deliverance goes up with sowing. Deliverance goes up with sowing. When the Lord... I had to fight for nine years for me to be set free. Because I understood the family that I was coming from. I looked at from my grandfather, from my mother's side, from my father's side, and I said, not for me. Not for me. I can tell you that in all my entire family, in all my entire family, I'm the first person to go over. One. First one. In how many generations? In how many generations? Almost, almost how many? How many generations? How many? Four generations. Four. Four generations. I'm the one to break legacy. I'm 
they want to break legacy. Because of sowing. Because of being faithful. Because of praying. Most of you, most of you, that's the reason you, you are still struggling. You look at yourself. You are still the same with your father. In fact, you look exactly like your grandfather. Make up a decision. I'm telling you. The first time when I was, I was, I was going overseas, I was going overseas, I said, I said, the spirit from my uncle, my father, bye-bye. Bye-bye. You will not follow me again. I have broken legacy. My children, my children will go abroad. They will do better than I did. And now what I've done is that because I have broken legacy now, I begin now to influence my surrounding. There are some certain people in my, in, in my family, they did not know airplane like this. And I said, okay, we are going to we'll break legacy. That's the reason me, I love expensive things. Very expensive things because I know. You know poverty. Poverty is bad. Poverty is very bad. That's the reason I love expensive things. Whenever I want to buy something, I will go in an expensive place. Because I want even to show the demons from my father, my uncle. I say, you, you did not afford. Why can you attack me? Are we of the same level? I want to show them. I say, not, not for me. I have broken legacy. You have got no power to hold me now. You have got no power to hold my children. You have got no power to hold my wife. We have broken legacy. I am not like those. I am another person. I've been sowing. Me have suffered, if you don't know. And if it was not because of the Lord who was on my side, where I, I continued sowing, continued sowing, 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 sowing. That was the time I was very poor. You, if you had met me all those, all those days, you would have said, Holy Ghost fire. I was a very ugly, black, a black guy. Oh, no, nowadays, you know, we are furnished. You look at our hair, we look like white people. <laughs> those days, it was a, a original, kinky hair. Nigerian hair, Niger. <laughs> but we went through a process. We went through a process of breaking some things, breaking some altars, breaking some spells. You want to get married? You want to get married? You have never even sown a seed. You are a joker. You are joking. You want a husband who is a millionaire? You have never sown a. You have never sown a seed. They say, I want a husband who is a millionaire. And you are sowing 10 rand. He's coming for 10 rand. <laughs> you come for 10 rand. Eh? <laughs> hey, I suffered me. I suffered. If, if, if it was not the grace of God over my life, if it was not God all this time, I'm telling you, I can, uh, I can have now time to spend the money. To spend the money. Huh. Some certain people, when they look at me, when they look at me, said, you, you, we know you. How, how, how did you reach this level? I said, well, some people, they suspect me, say, you are a satanist. Because when they look at the, the place where I am coming from and they look at where I am, they try to compare and the speed. They say, mm -mm. Mm -mm. The speed is too much. There are some certain classmates. I met them in Lusaka. I met them. They could not even come close to me. They said, this man, he is a deep one. He's a deep fish in the ocean. He said, I recruited him. How, how can I recruit my own brother? This is a real success. Whenever God blesses you, 
even those that are around you, you'll be able, they must experience the blessing of God. Are you listening? I went through a lot of things. To the point that even some people, when they look at me, and said, ah, you, how? We knew you. We saw you from school. How you were suffering, we saw you. But how come, how, how, how? How, how has it happened in a short period of time? I said, it is the hand of Jehovah. You can never understand how I arrived here if it was not the hand of God over my life. Can't understand. I continue sowing seeds. I continue praying. Going to the mountain, praying. And my prayer, she can tell you my mother, one day I told her, my mother, I told her, I said, you know one day, the Lord is going to lift me up. I spoke to her. Is she around? I told her. I said, the Lord is going to lift me up. At my young age, I said, the Lord is going to lift me up. And when the Lord lifts me up, you shall surely know that this is a finger of the Lord. At my young age, going to the mountain, praying, fasting, Fasting. He can tell you. A life of fasting. A life of dedication. Have you ever heard that I've been in the Bami? Ask. My growing up, my growing up has been because of the Lord. Dedication to the Lord. At one time, when I got married, when I got married, I took all my suits. I said, I don't want any spirit to follow me. I took all my suits. I gave all my sons. I said, take them. Take them. Any stage I reach in a life, there is need of sacrifice. And any stage that I'm about to attempt, I saw a sacrifice. So any next level in life is not because of you are beautiful, it's because of sacrifice. Are you ready to sacrifice? That's the reason other people, Satanism, they, the Satanists, they will tell them, sacrifice for your family to live long. But in the things of God, it is our sacrifice, our money, our substance, our commitment, our heart for the Lord. You know what is fighting you. So don't joke. Be serious. Live a holy life. Live a righteous life. And find a burning church. That's the result. You continue moving. You continue moving from one church to another. You are continue piling up demons. Continue piling up demons. Continue. Sit on one place. Sit on one place. Grow. I am a living testimony. There is nothing that is great inside me apart from the grace that is great in me. Which means there is no great men. All men are a product of grace. So it is grace that makes great. I am me. If God can do it for me, he can do it for you. He can do it for you even more. But you are not ready to pay a sacrifice. There was one time I was walking. I was walking with him. I was walking with him. I was walking with him. I took him to the mountain. To the mountain. And I was praying at the mountain. And he can tell you the level, me, persecution, persecution started. You know, there are, th there are some things, they, they began following me at my young age. You know, there are some people, they will just do something bad. And my name will be involved. And I knew that my name is marked. From that moment, I knew that my name is marked. Someone will speak something and my name will not miss. Yet I did not say anything. I don't know the person. Men of God will just arise against me. Begin to mention my name on the pulpit. Yet I don't know them. I've never met them. From that moment I knew that my name is marked in the kingdom of Satan. Let me be, be vigilant. I began praying, fasting, and loving the Lord. Have a true heart for the Lord. Some of you some of you are just here because of what God can give you. If God today does not bless you, will you worship him you? If you have a problem, you. 
Can you worship God? She can tell you that me, I don't get moved by money. By far. Me with money. How? I don't get moved. They will tell you, all the people around me that this man, when it comes to finances, he doesn't get moved. Even if when there is a problem in the church, I personally go back to the one who called me and said, Lord, you said that you shall provide for thy servant. Rest people. He become faithful and he does everything for us. Put on the full armor of God because days are wicked. Lift up your hands. Lord, I decree I decree. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. I decree. Shout amen. amen. I decree. Amen. Hey, 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 hey. You agree with your voice. I decree. Amen. Rise up on your feet. I decree. Amen. Lift up your hands. I want your receiving to be a receiving of faith. Amen. I decree. That every generational demon following you from your mother's lineage, following you from your father's lineage, it catches fire. It catches fire. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of addiction that does not want you to stay in church, that does not want you to give. Amen. That spirit, it is destroyed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every spirit following you. Amen. Tormenting spirits. Amen. Tormenting spirits. Amen. Tormenting your body. Amen. I command that demon to lose you. Every financial demon that attacks your financial stability, I destroy that demon in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare every money that you have ever lost, it is coming speedily. There is a season of restoration in the name of Jesus. Affliction shall not be for you again. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every covenant that you made, the covenant is broken. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands and begin to pray. 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 Hey, is this the way you pray? You people, you are joking. Is this the way you pray? Clap your hands and pray. You don't joke with demons. from every spirit generational spirits financial demons release yourself release yourself release yourself release yourself release yourself release yourself release yourself, release yourself. Release yourself. La Roche Gazuka Rokito Suvahate Mashikorate Le Sako Shata Eri Shadiga Zuka Paradiga Lord this year we shall become greater greater miracles are coming Le Rushakusha Barakia 
every demon following my sons, my daughters, I decree and declare that the hand of God, the hand of Jehovah, is breaking every chain, is breaking every chain, every chain of the devil financially, every chain of the devil in their marriage, the chain is breaking, the chain is falling, 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 chains of sickness, chains of infirmity, chains of lack and want, they are breaking, chains of embarrassment, they are breaking, every chain of the enemy over your life, every chain of the enemy over your ministry, I break it, I lose it, I lose you from every chain, I lose you from every spell, I lose you from every judgment, I lose you from every word, I close every door of the enemy, I close every door that the devil entered you from, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, whosoever the Son of Man sets free, surely they are free indeed. We receive our freedom, our total freedom financially. We receive our total freedom in the name of Jesus. We receive our total freedom in the area of marriage. We receive uh, freedom in the area of ministry in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We protect ourselves from every canker web, every spiritual canker web. We protect ourselves. We decree and we declare we are protected. We are covered. We are covered. We speak the blood of Jesus. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. We apply the blood of Jesus. We apply the blood of Jesus over our children, over our ministry. No more evil news. No more evil news. In the name of Jesus. 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 Name of Jesus. Affliction shall not arise again. 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 Poverty shall not arise again. Yes, it shall not arise. 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 Oh Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Laka raka tosho papa, zekri ya siga dusha, erika zula biya siga. Doors are opening. Every door shattered by the powers of the enemy. Every door financially shattered by the powers of the enemy. I lose them. I lose them. I lose them. A new season is coming. New finances are coming. New opportunities are coming. New members are coming. Hey, I see them, I see them, I see them, I see enemies falling down, I see enemies falling down, I see enemies falling down. The Bible says they shall come in one way and they scatter in several ways. Let them scatter wherever they are in my life, wherever they are in my marriage, wherever they are in my ministry, wherever they are in my finances. I scatter you by the fire of the Holy Ghost. The Bible says, every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he will cut it off and throw it in fire. Right now, every branch in me, every branch in my ministry, every branch in my marriage, every branch in my children that does not bear fruit, right now, I cut it, I cut it. I cut it, I cut it, and I throw it in fire. I throw it in fire. I throw it in fire. Every generational demon, catch the fire. Every generational demon, catch the fire. Every generational demon, loose my people. Loose my people. Loose my people. Loose them. Loose them. Loose them. Loose them. Loose them. 
Lose them. Lose them. Lose them. Every spirit, every yoke, every yoke of poverty, every yoke of affliction, every yoke of infirmity, every yoke of lack and want, every yoke of rejection, every yoke of rejection in ministry, every yoke of rejection in marriage, every yoke of barrenness, break, 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 break. Let my people go. Let my people go that they may serve their God. That they may serve their God. Rako shalabarakatosh. Jeliazuka. Zobende. Rekuja. Elarika Zukalia. Anyone in the grave. Anyone marked for death. Anyone in the evil coffin. Anyone in the evil grave. I remove you out from there. I remove your finances. I remove your marriage from every evil coffin, from every evil grave. I remove your ministry. Your ministry will not die. Your ministry will not die. Your finances will not die. Your marriage will not die. The Bible says, I shall live and declare the works of the Lord. I decree and declare a new season is coming. Every devil, every devil, over your hands, the devil of losing finances. He catches fire. 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 My daughter, no shame again. No more shame again. That demon that wants to scatter your marriage. No more shame again. No more shame again. You will not lose that house. By the power of Jehovah, that demon, that makes you lose property. It is catching fire. It is catching fire. I lose your finances. I lose your joy. I lose your happiness. I lose your house. I lose your property. Aroshatusa. Iko saliga dus. Eraku saliga suka. Eragia suka dia sokopa. Lord, I decree in the Holy Ghost Embassy. It is a house of deliverance. It is a house of deliverance. Every enemy, every word spoken against this commission, I stand as a man of authority. I silence every negative word. I silence every negative word. Holy Ghost Embassy shall be a tree of many branches. In the name of Jesus, Elariko Ziazuka, Ezozia Suka Barosia Kunta, Ediza Zikatusa Tigatusha. I pray for my wife. Every demon that makes men of God to fail in ministry, my wife will not fail. My children will not fail. My pastors will not fail. My elders will not fail. My prestige members will not fail. My friends will not fail. My colleagues will not fail. My family members will not fail. By the name of Jesus, I decree and declare every demon following you tonight it loses grip by the power of the Holy Ghost every pastor of Holy Ghost Embassy every demon following you that you will not settle in ministry aya 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 you demon scatter 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 I pray for Apostle Jamie Apostle Jamie, you are my son. Yes, by the power of Jehovah, I stand. Every demon following you, I come against it. I come against it. You shall settle in ministry. Every territorial demons, it will not follow you. I pray for you, Apostle Peter. In Botswana, every demon that fight men of God in Botswana, not for you. I put the age of protection over your life. I release an extraordinary anointing over your life. I give you the power to dominate. You shall 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 enter parliament. 
you shall speak to ministers you shall speak to presidents i give you the keys in botswana i give you the keys to terrorize every demon that terrorizes men of god in botswana i pray for you apostle steve i stand as your father every demon following you that he will not settle in zanini i decree and declare as your father i pronounce a blessing i pronounce a prophetic blessing whatever works for me in this ministry shall work for you in the name of jesus i open up gates for you i open up heavens for you in the name of jesus the son of the living god i pray for you you shall settle in marriage apostle steve you shall settle in marriage i break every territorial spirit every spirit that makes men of god to fail in ministry i hear stand as your father a man of authority i decree and declare you are blessed your ministry is blessed in the name of jesus the son of the living god i pray for apostle paul in the zambia lusaka i pray for you my son by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the holy ghost by the mandate of god over my life i decree over your life holy ghost embassy zambia shall grow it shall grow from 1000 to 2000 it shall grow 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 ashakuta it shall grow it shall grow it shall grow and use your miracles and use your miracles I pray for you, Apostle Tabo, and your wife. I decree and declare that you shall settle every power holding you, holding your ministry. A new ministry is coming. A new season is coming. I speak as a man of authority. It will not be like the past. Whatever you have gone through, I decree and declare there is settlement in your ministry. And you shall miracles, prophetic dimensions, prophetic dimensions and the usual miracles and the usual signs and wonders in the name of jesus financial grace financial grace royal sons and the royal daughters in the name of jesus i prophesy i prophesy gates are opening for your ministry in the name of jesus in the name of jesus every word spoken against your ministry I decree and declare, I reverse it, I reverse it, I reverse it, I pray for you, evangelist, evangelist hope, I pray for you, your ministry, daughters of Zion, it shall grow, it shall influence nations, nations are opening for you, borders are opening for you, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, extraordinary anointing, the graceful multitudes, the graceful multitude in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. I pray for all my pastors. I pray for Pastor Emmanuel. I pray for Pastor Ephraim. I pray for Pastor uh, uh, Sipo. I pray for uh, pa Pastor Charles. I pray for Pastor Keith. I pray for all my protocol. I decree and declare every demon following you by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the mandate of God over my life, I decree and declare, I decree and declare that demon, that demon, it will not come to you again. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I pray for the settlement of Holy Ghost Embassy. I pray for my settlement. I pray for my settlement. I pray for my settlement. Lord, settle my children. 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 As you be blessing me, Lord, bless them abundantly. Bless their finances. I pray for media. I pray for media. I pray for media. I pray for media. I pray for you. Business breakthroughs. Business breakthroughs. Business breakthroughs. Media, I pray for you. Faith, I pray for you. Faith, I pray for you. Lebu, I pray for you. Hey, I pray for you. Glenn, I pray for you. Hey, Sam, I pray for you. I pray for you. I pray for you. David, I pray for you. Dominic, I pray for you. I pray for you. Glory, I pray for you. 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 Pastor Emmanuel, 
I pray for you. I pray for you. I pray for you. Jeremy, I pray for you. Settlement. 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 Gracious. I pray for you. I pray for you. I pray for you. I bless 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 you. Munashe, I pray for you. Merlina, I pray for you. I pray for your settlement. I pray for your settlement. I pray for your settlement. Oliver, I pray for you, for your settlement. Olivier, I pray for you and your wife, your settlement, your settlement in life, your settlement in ministry. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Joy, I pray for you. Jane, I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, you shall settle, you shall settle. Ian, I pray for you. You shall settle. You shall settle. You shall settle. Angel, I pray for you. You shall settle. Enoch, I pray for you. You shall settle. You shall settle. You shall settle. Liza, 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 I pray for you. You shall settle. You shall settle. You shall settle. Joshua, 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 I pray for you. You shall settle. 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 Onyeka. Onyeka. I pray for you. You shall settle. 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 Hey, Shane, 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 I pray for you. You shall settle. You shall settle. Nonto, 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 I pray for you. You shall settle. 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 Seize Seize You shall settle. Lebu, Lebu, you shall settle. You shall wonder, wonder. You shall settle. 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 Oh my Jesus. I pray for my children. I pray for my children. I Chima, 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 Chima. You shall settle with your wife. You shall settle. 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 Merlina, you shall settle. You shall sit. You shall settle. You shall settle. You shall settle. You shall settle. Joy, joy, joy. You shall settle. You shall have children. 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 Pastor Keith. Pastor Keith. Pastor Keith. Pastor Keith. Pastor Keith and wife. I pray for you. You shall settle. 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 Theo. 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 Nadine. The family of Koza. The family of Koza. You shall settle. You shall settle. Mama Eva. You shall settle. 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 Sam Lukoso. Sam Lukoso. You shall settle. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost. You shall settle. You shall settle. You shall settle. In the name of Jesus. 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 Benaya Simpasa. Benaya Simpasa. Benaya Simpasa. You shall settle. Isaac. Isaac. You shall settle. You shall settle. Isaac. You shall settle. George. You shall settle. Jane. You shall settle. You shall settle. You shall settle. Oh, my mother, I pray for you. You shall settle. I remember my family. You shall settle. Anyone, Lord, that have connected to my life, settle them. 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 Settle their businesses. 
settle their businesses settle their careers settle their careers in the name of Jesus 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 Vanessa 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 my daughter you shall settle you shall settle you sh Naomi 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 you shall settle Maria 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 you shall settle Tato Tato you shall settle 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 by the power of the Holy Ghost I pronounce a blessing over you I pronounce a blessing 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 Valentine Valentine I bless you Valentine I bless you Valentine I bless you Valentine I bless you Maria Bobo Maria Bobo I bless you Maria Bobo I bless you I bless I bless your children I bless your grandchildren I bless your grandchildren I bless your grandchildren I bless your grandchildren you shall settle in business in business in the name of Jesus 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 mama Eva I pray for your children I pray for your children I pray for your children they shall settle they shall settle they shall settle they shall settle Lord I pray for all my partners they shall settle financially they shall not they shall not suffer in the name of Jesus Lord those that are saving me bless them leave them abundantly pastor Charles I pray for your children I pray for Lisero in the name of Jesus oh Jesus oh Jesus they will not be deaf anymore they will not be deaf anymore there will not be accident there will not be accident Lise D, Lise D, I pray for you I pray for you I pray for you hope my daughter hope my daughter I pray for you as you be singing the Lord will remember you 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 Mika 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 my daughter Mika I pray for you settlement again the Lord will remember you the Lord will open up doors for you in the name of Jesus the son of the living God Lord you have given everyone as a blessing leave them abundantly leave them abundantly leave them abundantly pastor Celestine I pray for you God's grace God's anointing God's favor on you God's favor on your life on your marriage settlement Israel my pastor Israel in Mozambique I call your name I pray for you settlement 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 George George my son Mr. Kabiri I call your name settlement George you shall settle Oh, George, you shall settle. I pray for you. Every spirit trying to scatter you, scatter your marriage. I scatter it. I scatter it. I speak as a man of authority. I pray in the name of Jesus. I speak a new season. I speak a new season. I speak a new season. Tebuko. 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 You shall settle. You shall settle with your twin. 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 Mpumi, 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 mpumi. You shall settle. Mpumi, you shall settle. Mpumi, you shall settle. Mpumi, you shall settle. Mpumelele, mpumelele, you shall settle. 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 The family of Soya. The family of Soya. I pray for your settlement. Your settlement in life. Your settlement in business. In the name of Jesus. Affliction will not be for you. 
your affliction will not be for you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oraka Sokopa. Rika Tusaba. Louis, I pray for you. Louis, I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. Wellington, I pray for you. I pray for you. Oh, I pray for you. Settlement over your life. Settlement over your life. Settlement over your life. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for answering our prayer. 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 Thank you, Lord, for touching all my sons and daughters. Thank you for touching my wife. Thank you for touching my pastors. Thank you for touching my partners. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Thank him, thank him, thank him. Thank him. Just rush and sow your seed. Rush and sow your seed to connect yourself. Rush, just connect yourself to this prophetic word. Oh, Jesus. Bless your people. Lord, as this ministry will settle, settle every son, settle every daughter. I see a vision. The Lord says, as Holy Ghost embassy will be growing, your life will grow too. The Lord says, that affliction it will not be before you again affliction will not rise again I hear a sound of abundance Father thank you bless your people Lift them up. In Jesus. I pray for all my viewers. Lord, as DDTV Africa will be on this week. I pray that you use DDTV as a medium of deliverance to bring thousands to God. Cause DDTV to be an influential telecast. Let lives be blessed. Let DDTV carry impact. Lord, raise partners for DDTV Africa. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Put our two hands for Jesus. Clap your hands. Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my soul. I live for you alone. Every breath that I take, every moment I'm awake. Lift up your hands. Lord, I love you. Lord, I give you my heart. Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my soul. I live for you. Lord, every breath that I take, every moment I'm away. 
Lord, have your way in me. Lord, have your way in me. Father, thank you. Lord, thank you for giving me a conviction that you are with me. Lord, the same way Lot was blessed by following Abraham. Bless these men as they follow me. In the name of Jesus. No one will be poor among our midst. No one will be sick. No one will lack anything. In the name of Jesus. It is done. Take a seat. Some of you, you may think you coming to church, I don't know you. But I wanted to know that I know you personally. I know you. I know you personally. Praying for you. Praying for you. God will bless you. All those that are watching us on uh, Facebook, I want to invite you for a powerful service on Sunday. Uh, remember that uh, DDTV Africa is going to be on. So I have a lot of work this Sunday. So I want you to be my guest this Sunday. I want everybody to invite about 10 people. 10 people. 10 people for our miracle service this Sunday. Because I wanted to come and see what God is going to be doing. Come and see what the Lord is going to do. Praise God. So I believe you have been blessed. I believe you have been touched. And all those that are watching, if the Lord is leading you to sow a seed before DDTV Africa is back on air, this is the right time to sow. Take the account number. You will see it down the Facebook, down uh, uh, the, my account. You take the account, sow your seed to connect yourself to the grace of God. And I'm telling you, as thousands of people be watching DDTV Africa, God will watch over your business. He will watch over your finances. So may the Lord bless you. Do not forget to anoint yourself around 03. Anoint yourself. Put a cross on your forehead. And also anoint your children. And anoint your, your entrance of the door anoint the entrance of the door and the angel of death you pass over you you are protected may the Lord bless you remember that uh, we are here on uh, Thursday and on Sunday do not forget that God loves you And the devil has got nothing to do about it. Join us this Sunday for a wonderful service. God bless you. You will not regret. You will not regret. The Lord has sent me for you. He raised me for you. And some of you, I'd love to meet you one-on-one. -on -one, to know you personally so that I can pray for you. And declare God's grace. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Shalom, shalom. Put up your hands for Jesus. All those that are having tithe, you're having tithe, your 10%, rush with your tithe.